everybody. Let me just turn my light down a bit. It's a bit on the bright side. Is that better? I look a bit garish now. <clears throat> Okie dokie. This is so heavy. I have I'll just hold it up and pull it back so you can see because it is big. Brewer box Discovery Club. I'll just wait for a few of you to join. Have a drink. I'm getting a croaky throat. I think um I think it's finally come to me. Everybody else has had it. <sighs> So I definitely thought I better do this today in case I lose my voice. <laughs> I mean, that's no good. I won't be able to do an unboxing with no voice. <laughs> Thankfully, the next box I've got coming is um, it's actually one for my son to unbox, so I can sit in the background <laughs> and um, advise. <laughs> so, ladies, we have the Burr Box Discovery Club. It is a massive box. It's big. Can't pick it is inside. It says on the front, food discovered. Well, I love food. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So, let me just take a drink. This one is a massive box, and I don't mean massive as in physically massive, as well as being physically massive. It, if you're really into your food and you're a foodie, you like cooking, you like eating, you like trying new things, then this is something that's really going to excite you. Now, I do know a few people on the group, we were talking about this yesterday, do you subscribe to things like, um, I can say it, Degusta Box because it's a totally different thing. Um, now this is... I would say sort of the high-end version of that because it's artisan selected products, unfarmed products. It's not kind of the thing that you would be able to buy off the shelf when you walk into Tesco or Home Bargains or wherever you go to get your new boots. So, I have a little card. Um, the, guy, the guy actually um, who's been talking to me about this, Rich, He's in, Aust did he say Australia? I'm going to say Australia. He might have said New Zealand. You know the two I always get confused with. And I don't mean confused as to where they are. I mean confused as to they're, they're both better weather-wise than they are. <laughs> um, so it says, hi Mel, I hope you enjoy. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Borough box. That's really cool. I really like that. It's printed as well. And then it's got on the back, it says the best food and drink drink you've ever discovered and it's got the uh, the handles so Facebook Twitter Instagram and the website and this piece of paper here actually tells me what's in it but I'm gonna just keep that to one side now I don't know if you can see if I tilt you over like that you can see how massive the box is and how full it is but there's absolutely no way I'm gonna hold that up without it dropping everywhere I'll just put you back so, and it's got heavy things in it as well, and definitely don't want to drop them. <laughs> oh, thanks! I really like this lippy. It's um, it's Burt Bees one. I really like it. It's, it's like a mix between a lipstick and a moisturizer, a uh, lip balm. Oh, I don't know where to start. There's loads of food. Right, okay. I'm going to keep this little list to the side just so I know I am definitely saying. <laughs> exactly as it is in there. Ah. I've never tried that before. I've never even heard of it. We are really into our food, by the way. So, it says, I just had to look. Um, it is a snack. Um, and it says, chili brigantini. 
I've never ever tried this. This is unusual. I'm just reading on the back. It's just a, it's basically a baked snack. So kind of like, I suppose like um, a crisp type of snack, but obviously it's a lot more posh than crisps. Um, but they are baked bread snacks. I'm gonna try that. I really like chili stuff as well. I really like my spices. Bob doesn't, he's not into spices, but I am. <clears throat> massively he will cook with them he's downstairs at the moment making a thai curry uh, he'll cook with them that's fine but anything that tastes spicy he won't eat um like out of a packet that makes sense oh yes definitely oh yeah they look nice these are peaks crunchy salted caramel chocolate squares oh definitely whole grain snack dumped in chocolate brilliant i'm trying those for the review some of this is snack stuff and some of this is stuff you can cook with. So what I'm trying to do is take out the snacky bits first. So, oh, I know. I've spoke to, about, I've spoke to the guy before who makes those. Um, love cocoa. Avocado, 70%. Organic dark chocolate by James Cadbury. Handmade in Great Britain. Uh, he has actually got his own um, website and box and things that you can buy from. So that's a really good one. That's quite a big bar as well. It's 80 grams, so it's a decent size. Yay, we like chocolate. Oh, I've heard of these before. Oh yeah. See, I'm not completely um, unknown to all of these things in here. Some of them are obviously gonna be new to me, but um, we do do a lot of cooking. I should say Rob does. Um, so this is Italian rub. A blend of herb and spices for Italian inspired dishes. That's perfect for us. Really, are definitely going to get some use out of that. Can you see? It's a good sized tub as well. How much is it? Uh, 32 gram, but that in spices is a lot. If you think about they don't have to weigh anything because they're really light. That's brilliant. Really, really good. We make, um, in fact, I've just ordered some. We'll be making a lasagna, so I'll be able to use that in it because we, we cook from scratch. We don't buy um, packet, things like that. Um, and we do things like meatballs um, all the time. Anything that the kids can eat, that we can eat together is great for us. Um, but Rob doesn't like things out of packet, so we always cook from scratch. <laughs> He's a bit of a food snob, I'm afraid, girls. So... Next up is something that will be able to be used in the cooking as well. We'll have to try and... Um, this review will take me a bit longer than usual. I usually get some done in a few days, but I'm going to give this the full week so that I can actually make things and take pictures of it. And it is garlic and rosemary. I'm presuming it's a... Oh, he's going to be so happy. It's a rapeseed oil. He actually prefers rapeseed oil to uh, olive oil. He says it's miles better to cook with. Um... And it's, I think it, he's a bit snobby and so he's a bit posher. <laughs> Shouldn't really say that, should I? <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's, he'll be really happy to use that, definitely. I'll take that down to him in a minute. Um, as I say, he's in the middle of doing a Thai um, prong curry. Oh, brilliant. I don't want to open it. I'll let him open it. So, next up is, it's loads. That's a full size jar as well. Uh, spiced pineapple and nigella chutney. Enjoy with meat, cheese, and curries. Well, don't have to ask me twice. Um, we do a lot of Spanish platters. I think um, I did review very recently a cheese box where we did a full cheese board um, for the review, and that is definitely going to get eaten. Um, everyone knows me, knows I love cheese. The girls actually sent me some in my admin box recently, a load of cheese, because we do like it. And we often get um, the Italian cured meats with, um, what do you call them? Uh, I'm trying to think what they're called. The tomatoes, but the um, the dried up ones, sun-dried tomatoes. I couldn't even think then. We get those and then things like grapes, cheese, meats. And we often have, we'll have it as like a meal, um, dipping sauces. So you've got like the olive oil dipping sauces with the breads, uh, crostini and things like that. We we absolutely love. So that's going to go down a tree. I also use stuff like that in sandwiches. So if we're making something like um, a ham and cheese sandwich, um, put a bit of, um, say, like rocket on it and, and then put a bit of chutney. It goes really nice. So, yeah, that is... 
200 gram jar, so massive, it'll last quite a while and get used over Christmas. So, the one thing I looked in this box, this is the next one, um, is the Sweet Treat Strawberry Chipotle Barbecue. And I don't actually know, because I looked at it and I don't actually know what this is, so I'm going to just read it on here. Let me have a quick look. It's barbecue sauce, but I'm just wondering what you can... Because obviously it says the strawberries give this, give this a sweet, spicy kick. It goes with great proteins such as salmon, grilled jalapeno sausages, berries. Oh, right, okay. And over ice cream or yoghurt with granola and fresh berries. Try basing over chicken, beef, ribs and pot. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we'll do something like that, I think. And baste it. Um, and cook something out of it because I do like some I do like barbecue flavors I like the idea it's got different things in there as well it'll be interesting to see what that comes up with I'm presuming that's 200 gram jar as well just looking I always tell you the sizes so you know because sometimes at 175 grams sometimes when you show something on a video it can either look really big or really small and people are like oh I wonder how big that is so yeah that's a full size still going <laughs> the next one is something um Obviously, it's well placed in the box, um, but this will be getting gifted uh, because I cannot eat stuff with nuts in, sadly. Um, and my partner isn't massively into nuts. He doesn't mind them, but it wouldn't be something that he would definitely eat. But I would never waste anything, so it will go to a good home. Uh, but it's this pistachio spread, the nut kitchen. It looks really posh as well. And you see on the bottom... What does it say about the pistachio spread? Let me just have a look. I presume you can use it on toast and things like that. Um, season, um, the seasoned professionals in the nut industry met and became pals in 2012. Ah, right. So they, they make nut paste and creams that be perfect for foodies who love to bake and make ice creams. All oh, right, okay. So you could probably, you could use this in an ice cream then. I understand that now. Yeah, definitely. Spread on toast, use fillings of cakes, Pancakes, macarons, or stir into vanilla ice cream or frozen yogurt for a nutty twist. That'd be great for anyone who's a massive nut fan. Um, like I say, don't get me wrong, it's well placed in the box or something, but it's just not me um, because I don't eat them. But it looks like a really good product. Look at the brand on it, I really like this. Like the little gold label. And that's a 200 gram tub as well. But don't worry, as I say, that will get gifted to somebody and go to someone for Christmas. So, and the last one, and the biggest item in, and the one that actually makes me go, oh my word, what's this, is, this is something I've never seen before, just making sure there's nothing else in the bottom of the box, um, and it's beer bread. Um, now, this excites me, and I'm really sad because we do make our own bread, we don't do it all the time, and it says, um, La Bafina, I hope I've pronounced that right. Produce a range of beer bread flour mixes with distinct flavours using flour made from British grown wheat. The mixes are foolproof to bake. Just pour in a beer cider or soda. Oh, right, okay. Pop into a bread tin and bake. We've actually got a bread machine, so I wonder whether we could do it in that, or we might actually just put it straight in the oven. You'll get a tasty loaf out of the oven in under an hour. Oh, so you don't really have to. I've got, I'm going to try it in the oven. It says rosemary and garlic. And we've definitely got, we've got some cans of cider downstairs and some bottles of beer, actually. Um, I'm sure Rob picked them up. I can't remember what they are now, but they are. Um, that looks really interesting. Yeah, we're going to bake that. I'll bake that for the review and show you how it comes out. I won't. Rob will. Uh, <laughs> but that looks cool. It says weight 400 grams and obviously it's a full size. You make a full tin of bread out of it. Shows you on the back. And it says what you add to it. You add the beer, you add the mix, and out comes your bread after you put it in the oven. Brilliant. I won't get every product up again, but I'll just tell you a quickly recap what was in the box and tell you how much it is. Um, so we've got the rapeseed oil and garlic and rosemary. You've got the brigand, uh, brigantini, which are the bread snacks. Um, the strawberry chipotle barbecue sauce. The pistachio spread. The avocado organic chocolate bar. Uh, beer bread, spiced pineapple and nigella chutney, crunchy chocolate squares and Italian rub. There's some great stuff in there that we're going to get use out of. The only thing I can pick out really that we're not going to use is going to be the pistachio spread and that's out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and there's 9 items in there. Now, exciting part. 
Let me move this out of the way. I love the box as well. The design's really cool. Um, we have actually got a discount code for £10 off. So this box is £29.99, but... We've got a code, I'll pop it up when I download the video and obviously it'll be in my full review. You get £10 off. Um, your boxes go monthly if you want to. You can pause them or suspend or cancel. Um, but you can also do three monthly, six monthly and 12 and it does bring them down slightly. If you do the three monthly one, it takes a pound off a month. Um, and I think it goes up slightly as you obviously buy more. But for your first box to um, try out the Brewer Box Discovery Club, you can take that £10 off. Obviously, it takes it down to 19 99 for the box, which is, think about all that food that's in there. I'll obviously price it up and let you know how much it is. Um, but £20, as soon as I see things like that, I think hamper, Christmas, gift, absolutely perfect. Eat what you want, make up hampers with the rest of it. Um, one of the things I used to love giving is a gift was a food hamper and obviously some of them you can gift um, things like cheese unless you kept it in the fridge but you can gift stuff like that because obviously it's all packaged products and it all keeps so think bear in mind you wouldn't be able to buy that all for that much in the shop definitely not I can tell you that now because there's some of the stuff I know sort of roughly how much it would be you definitely couldn't get that for £20 um, so I will pop the link up I will pop the code up I'm going to go now because I don't know whether Rachel's going live after me or not um, but I do have a Thai prawn curry to eat which Mr Wilkes is downstairs cooking and simmering in the pan for me <laughs> so obviously food relative we are foodies comes first so i'm going to go and eat that and thank you everybody for watching um i hope you like the box i'm dying to try it out i will post pics of cooked things so be warned when i post the review it might make you hungry um <laughs> but um thanks loads guys and i'll see you soon love you all bye